Peggy 3. Listen up, DuckTales, Disney, and Scrooge McDuck fans. Not only is there a new DuckTales show coming to Disney XD this summer, we get to officially play some of the most beloved games of all time, DuckTales 1 and the hard-to-find DuckTales 2 via the Disney Afternoon Collection coming April 17th. Hi, Chris from Laser Time here, lifelong Scrooge McDuck fan, here to tell you that even though it may look like 2017 is the year of the DuckTales comeback, the character of Scrooge McDuck hasn't really ever gone away. Disney is home to a lot of famous faces, but Scrooge McDuck has been a beloved character for seven decades. Although children of the 80s and 90s fell in love with the energetic duck in the 1987 DuckTales television show, he actually originated in the pages of Disney Comics. Introduced in December of 1947 as a foil to his nephew Donald Duck in Christmas on Bear Mountain, written and illustrated by Disney legend Carl Barks. Barks would bring Scrooge back to antagonize Donald, Huey, Dewey, and Louie throughout the next four years, but during that time, Barks began to evolve Scrooge from a frail, miserly old duck with a small fortune into a more likable, physically capable character, and perhaps most importantly, an insanely rich duck. From the very first panel of his solo comic debut, 1951's Only a Poor Old Man, we see Scrooge taking a swim in his Duckburg money bin for the first time, which coincidentally also offers Scrooge's first lines in the official 1987 world television premiere of the show DuckTales. Dive around in it like a porpoise, and burrow through it like a gopher, and toss it up and let it hit me on the head. Again, Scrooge's legacy extends far beyond just DuckTales. In 1967, Disney promoted him to theaters with the educational short Uncle Scrooge and Money. He emerged as the star of Mickey's Christmas Carol, which has aired annually every December since 1983, and Scrooge has continued to pop up all over the Disney universe. From Disney Records, a living character you can hug in Disney parks, a full-length theatrical animated movie in 1990 with DuckTales the Movie, The Treasure of the Lost Lamp, cameos aplenty, all the way to television today and comic books old and new where he has remained incredibly popular throughout the world. To put it simply, Scrooge McDuck's appeal transcends borders, generations, and multiple mediums. Now, I could go on and on and on and on and on about how well Uncle Scrooge's comics and Disney's DuckTales holds up and even helps shape their respective mediums, but for my generation and millions of players who came afterward, Scrooge McDuck is known the world over as one of the greatest video game characters of all time. And that's all due to the strength of Capcom's DuckTales from 1989. As one of the best Best examples of the 8-bit era, Capcom's DuckTales was in a class unto itself. It's one of the most colorful, most refined, dare I say, one of the most fair side-scrollers 1989 had to offer. It not only played great, but it lived up to the quality of its television source material in a way that helped strengthen both of their legacies. And that's not bad for an elderly duck wearing glasses and armed only with a cane. Oh, would you care for a sample, Mr. McDuck? No! They're free! Can I have more than one? I kid the grumpy old duck. Scrooge McDuck's personality, such as his eagerness to finance trips across the globe and brave all manner of danger in search of treasure, actually makes him the perfect action-adventure game character. And it should more than explain why a diminutive duck would traverse the Amazon, Himalayas, and all the way to the moon in search of mythic riches. That cane we joked about earlier? Who knew Scrooge's cane would end up becoming one of the more iconic gaming accessories ever? Scrooge can use his cane to whack objects in the environment, or adorably fail at that, but more importantly, Scrooge can transform his cane into a pogo stick to not only jump higher, but to dispose of enemies and escape spikes unscathed. Another reason the game stood out back then was like a lot of 8-bit Capcom games, most notably Mega Man, you could play any of DuckTales stages in any order you wanted. Not only could you tackle a stage that was giving you trouble later down the line, but there were also hidden treasures and even secret bonus stages that would let you recollect items for a higher score. And I say score because the game tracked your progress in the only way Uncle Scrooge would find appropriate with a dollar sign. What's the difference between nine and 10 million dollars? Well, everything if you're Scrooge McDuck, but it's also key to unlocking the game's ultimate finale, because DuckTales was the first game I personally ever played that featured multiple endings, including a super secret horrible conclusion that leaves Scrooge penniless and dejected. Aww. At the time, this was all fairly unprecedented. The DuckTales TV show aired every weekday for five years in syndication all over the world, and had a fantastic game that lived up to the cartoon's legacy on store shelves throughout most of the show's popularity. Capcom's DuckTales reportedly sold over one million copies during that time, and more interestingly, fans kept playing it and singing its praises long after the TV show ended production. There are people right now 
who were born well after 1990 that are humming DuckTales' Immortal Moon theme because the game also features one of the greatest soundtracks in gaming history. Which brings us to DuckTales 2, a gem in the Disney Afternoon game collection just as rare as the treasure Scrooge is constantly hunting. You see, by the time Capcom released DuckTales 2, the TV series was no longer airing new episodes and the 16-bit era was in full swing. DuckTales 2 fell under a lot of fans' radars, and as a result, not as many copies were produced and the original cart remains a sought-after collector's item. But bless our bagpipes, that finally comes to an end with the Disney Afternoon Collection. DuckTales 2 is back and officially playable for the first time in over 20 years, and fans who know the original like the back of their hand will love the brand new challenge of much larger stages that span the pyramids of Egypt, Niagara Falls, and even Scrooge McDuck's country of origin, Scotland. Even better, Scrooge's cash can now be spent on in-game items. Scrooge can seek out Gyro for new cane adapters that unlock abilities like being able to hook the cane onto objects in the environment, destroy bigger blocks, and even start boats. DuckTales 2 is a worthy sequel to an outstanding game, and it's really special that people who couldn't track down a copy or didn't even know the follow-up existed finally get a chance to play it as part of the Disney Afternoon Collection. DuckTales 2 is part of the six-game collection of Capcom Disney Classics, where each game has been newly optimized with added features such as save states and a rewind option, as well as a vault of Disney Afternoon memorabilia most of the public has never laid eyes on before. The Disney Afternoon Collection is available on Steam, PS4, and Xbox One April 18th. And if you like this video, join us for a discussion on other Disney Afternoon classics, including Tailspin, Chippendales Rescue Rangers, and Darkwing Duck.